Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Obey who say what's up Records Lair Productions. Back at you with another one. This one I'm gonna get into for y'all is merging clips. Alright, when you merge in clips, this is a problem that some people can come into and it can happen all the time, but if you have the problem and it tracks close, like right now I have uh I would say too many tracks in this edit to be keep strolling all the way down to where this output at but this track well this track see it output the vocal sub man vocal sub is all the way down here okay so output the vocal sub right so if you merge a track while it's outputting to another track Remember the track will merge to it will go to that track. The once you finish merging it, when you hit the merge button, that's where it will go. Hold on, give me one. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna show you what, what I mean. Once I merge these, you're gonna see what I'm saying. Alright, so I'm going to go down to render clip, merge, select the clip. You see it disappeared. So, hold on, let me lower my preset for my master mix with my voiceover. Let's see the air in it. Hold on. All right, here we go. There we go. So, all right, we got it now. So you see, once I merged the clip, it went down here. It's gonna go to where the output at. So it went to the subfolder. You see the blue track. It go to wherever you output it at. So once you merge clips on the track that's already outputted, so if you're in the edit and you already know you set up, you routed your outs and everything, and you're sending tracks of the places, just remember that that's going to happen. So what you do, you click undo, and you go, just go remember, see I know this on track 68, vocal sub, so I just go default output, so it'll stay here. So this is how you're going to do it, you select the first clip whole shift but you can just do it here like the first two I done it but I said when I listened to it it worked out it worked out okay it wasn't nothing wrong but the tail it's not on the end see how the tail it got cut but it didn't hurt nothing because I got so many voiceovers over that I could just do the tail on these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap here first so we can get the the clip won't be that long so what we're gonna do we're gonna make this clip that long so we're gonna pull an audio clip right here we're gonna put an audio clip so we got an audio clip right here and we're gonna put this to the track all right so you see it's going past the clip. So now we're going to select all the clips. Now we're going to merge all these clips together. We want the empty clip, the audio clip, so we can get the tail. So we can get the tail at the end. And it won't just stop right here at the end of this clip. So we're going to render the clip. But, like I say, these are already cut. So it ain't really too much tail on all of them. See that right there? So, But I'm going to take the tail out so I can show you what I mean going past the mock point so this will be going past the mock point this track muted I don't even need to do that one but alright so now you will merge the clips so you'll go select all of them So 
So now you got all the clips. So now you'll merge it. Merge. All right, so you see, you got the merge clip now, and it's right here. And so you can see, I got the tail, but I'm still gonna put it back to where it go. But that's just to show you how you will bake the tail in if you want to make you keep the tail. You always want to take the clip past wherever your out marker is going. Take it past that point when you do the rendering part, especially when you're using if you're doing it on the track with like a reverb or a chorus filter or a wah effect or anything of that nature, you will want to take and get your tail. So, so the next one, I'm like I say, I already know that I already like where I had cut it at, so I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna render this straight right there. So, I'm gonna just merge the clips. But it's the same what I'm showing you. All you do, so. So I want to put this output back, change this back, the vocal sub. So I change that back. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. Change this to default output. Alright. Then let's go down. Render clip. Merge clip. Boom. Put this back. Focus up. One more time. Default output. And I'm going to show you why I'm really doing this. Why? What reason? You're probably looking like, why are you doing this? Right? Uh, why you keep doing it? I'm going to show you why I'm really doing it. So we got it. So now I'm gonna show you why I done it. So this why I done it. I done project, and you can see this one say on the go clean. But I done all my vocals in the on the go clean. So it's a reason why I'm doing this. Why I'm merging all the tracks. So I'm gonna go merge. Uh. Other tracks too. Verse two, we gotta go merge verse two. So we're gonna do the same thing at verse two, and then we're gonna copy it because this is the clean version. And I'm gonna have to edit the verses where the cussing at is in the verses. I'm gonna have to edit that in this edit because I just laid it down and just put the verses on it. So what I'm gonna do is merge everything right now. I was great mess up. Let's see something I remember here. Let's go to uh, verse two. So I gotta remember that. Go to verse two. Just don't go to the sub. Cause just going back to the tracks that's already going to the sub. So I gotta remember that. And go run the clip. Same thing. Take it back. Put it back. Vocal folder. Verse two. Alright. This one is on verse one dash two. Verse one dash two. This one is on first one app, so we're gonna go to vocal fade. Oh we gotta turn it off. We're gonna merge it. Verse two dash two. Okay, so 
getting the door and turn it off, right? Uh, you might wonder why it's um as I'm doing this now and I didn't do it before I routed it. If you had that question, the answer is the routing that I have, you see, my mic right here, I have my mic input. I will run it straight through the setting that I'm going through. So when I'm making a song, the sound that I'm looking for will already be there when I get to working. to add it so that's my reason for what I do I already have all my my routing happens and I have one track going to default output that I'm using my mic on and all my other tracks I always go straight to the sound I'm looking for like in the whole mix so I'm re I'm gonna record into the mix once I get get going into that I want to record I want to record into the mix so I don't want to record then try to majorly mix the song. I want to record into where I want the song to be already. So it's easier to work like that for me. So we're going to merge this. Last one. This will go on to verse three. So we take this default. There we go. So now we have everything. So what I want to go do, I'm going to go. I'm going to open this project up to the, the original version. Two edits going with the same plugin, so this is crushing the CPU. Hold on.
Check, check. All right. I don't know what this happened to sound, but there you go. That's how I do it. So now I just have to go save my settings for my plugins that I added. Because I added probably like 10 plugins in the other project. So I had to go do that. Put my master mix on. My final mix on all my tracks right here. And then route it back out like I did. I had to go do all them things. But I, you don't got to do that either. You know what I mean? But I like to do this sometimes just to make myself be familiarized with doing things. I don't got to do this at all. All I can do is this. Go take this, my audio, that's not clean because there's only was hooks on here. So all I have to do for real is just move, copy the hooks, and take it into that edit and resave it as this edit. So I just was showing you both ways, whatever way you want to do. Like sometimes I like to do things over and over just to keep it fresh on my mind so I don't forget it. So, but you don't got to do that. Like I said, you can just go copy these because this is the uh, the unclean version. So I can go copy this, the hook, and just drop it to the clean version. Go to save as and just save it as the edit that I already has. Which is actually what I'm really going to go do. But I just was showing you just how you can move stuff into another edit for merging clips. And this video was about merging clips. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. Sign up. LayerProductions.com. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.